morning everyone, Homeless Grandma here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we are going to be building this pumpkin carriage, which is my own design, mind you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first off, I'd like to point out that I do have a massive cold right now. It's not the spicy cough, I'm just feeling a little bit sick, but I want to get this video out for you guys to show you guys how to build this awesome pumpkin carriage. So if you like this video guys, make sure you smash that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, I have a goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers. I have no time frame. I would just love to get there. So if you can help me out, it's completely free, and you can always change your mind later in life. Okay, so what you need is pretty much in my inventory, plus or minus a few things, uh, like this, uh, this, uh, and etc, etc. Uh, okay, so, oh my, F5's not working. So I have built it twice now, because the second time I recorded the video, my microphone was muted the whole time. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? So the first thing that we want to do for the third time is start off with a wheelbase. So you want to build a 2x2x2x2, uh, uh, you know, square using birchwood. And then fill the insides with spruce trapdoors. So this is kind of like how uh, I, I've done this. You could do, uh, you could do fences and gates, a bunch of different things, they all work, they all work. So then the first thing you want to do is put four spruce logs on either side of this. So it comes out one side. So I'd just like to point out that this is actually a very, very, very simple design. Everything is the same. All the green things are the same, all the sides are the same. Uh, once you get one side, it's very, very easy to follow along. Uh, the one thing I do need is that. Uh, so, the first thing you want to do is you want to do a two back coming from this uh, spruce coming towards the other way. So, one, two, and then you want to go one, two, up one, across one, and then you want to do the same thing again. But on this one, you want to do a five gap. One, two, three, four, five, and then do one across. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is come out by one and back by two, but delete that block. So you want to come, and it's the same on the bottom. So out by one, back by two, and then delete that block. So then you want to come out by one, and back by four, delete that block. Two, three, four. And then do the same on the bottom. Out by one, two, three, four. And then do the same pattern that you've already done on the other side. So you want to come back by two, one, two, and then the top. One, two, and then you want to come back by two, facing the other way. One, two, one, two. You want to do five, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five in there. And then you want to go down by one. So starting from here, across, and then down by one, and across. So literally that is the going to be exactly the same on the other side. So in order for us to get there, we need to go up by one, up by one, up by one, and then across by three, two, three. And then we need to do exactly the same on the other side. Down by one, down by one, and then down by two to make this. So then we could do the same on the other side. So one, one, three, down by one, down by one, down by two, like so. So now we're starting to actually get the shape of it going. So then, we already know, from here we want to go out by two, out by two, and then out by four. One, two, three, four. And then do the same... <coughs> Excuse me. Do the same on the other side. But one, two, three, four, five down. And then another one across. One, two, three, four, five down. In between and then a sixth one across so then you want to come out by two sorry wrong way out by two out by four two three four right so now we're looking pretty schmick so what you want to do from the four here is come out by one here let me show you with this so we want to go out by one and remove that block and we want to do the same on the other side oops uh, that remove that block and then we want to come up by five. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. It's five total, and we've got the one. So two, three, four, five. So five. And then, you guessed it, bud. We want to do the same on the other side. So let's do placement block. 
placement block. One, two, three, four, five. Remove that. One, two, three, four, five. Right. So we're looking pretty shabby here. So we want to take our orange wall. We want to put the two in the corner, the two corner blocks, and fill that all the way to the top. We want to fill out this section here, the middle. Completely fill that bad boy out. And then we want to put more orange concrete on top of it to make it finish off the pumpkin. Again, the two corner blocks, we want to take that all the way to the top. Do the same on the other side. So two corner blocks all the way to the top. Fill in this middle part. My mouse is doing this weird thing at the moment where it's like double clicking and it's really, really weird. Um, so you want to do that. And then the two corner blocks all the way to the roof. Okay. So now you want to start from, from the bottom. You get these two blocks on either side. You want to start on the one single block and do all the way to get to the one block on the other side. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'd be one overhang from this four and it'll be one either side. You want to do that on the, both sides as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Now, we're looking pretty. So, from here, you want to do two blocks higher than this. You're basically just following the pattern along. So you got two blocks. Let's just do this on every side so you can see uh, what I mean. Two blocks. So two blocks. Two blocks. As you can see here, it kind of follows the theme of the orange concrete. So now you want to do another two blocks up here. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And then three blocks coming from behind these. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like so. And then at the front here, you want to start on this block and build all the way to this block. So you'll start one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, you do the same. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Now you'll notice this is exactly the same that we did down the bottom. So it actually matches the bottom part. We're just not doing this part along the bottom of the carriage. So we, with this part we did do, as you can see, we did the six down the below. It's the same as the six up the top. So now you're looking like this. So then you want to get your orange concrete again and do the same thing. So you want to come up to and follow the path around. So to... You're following the inside path of the orange wool that you just placed. So like two, and then follow it along. But you Like this. And then, as you can see here, you're going to come up by two, because there's two blocks here. Two blocks here, so you're going to come up by two. Two blocks here, so you're going to come up. Two, up. You can get the, you get the idea that you are basically copying the orange pattern that you have just created, but one block higher, so you can see it. So three, one two, three. Now you're looking like this. So you want to take your orange wool and you want to fill in the, each section of these orange sections that you just made with the concrete. With the orange wool. That is. This forms the roof and it makes it look really cool. So then we are finished the roof. So I like to use uh, green concrete for a stem uh, and just, you know, do something crazy that just because, you know, when you look at pumpkins, not always do they have a perfectly shaped stem. So we do something crazy just to make it look like it's a pumpkin uh, up the top. So we have pretty much finished the majority of the actual pumpkin cast now. Okay. So the one side that we will do, which is this side, we, we are got. Oh, uh, hello. Didn't finish this one. So one, back one, back one. Uh, so down one, across, down one, across. Okay. So we are going to uh, fit, leave this side as closed. So what we're going to do is just get the orange terracotta and fill in the inside of all of these orange blocks, like so. So it's going to look like this. We are then going to take our orange concrete and bring it all the way across this side to finish it off, and our terracotta to also finish it off. We are going to go one block here and leave a one block gap and then put a block like so. This is where we're going to grab our magenta stained cla uh, glass and put fill that section in. Now I'll come back to this section once we do the inside and I'll show you what, how do we finish this off. So we need to get four blocks to one, two, three, four, 
One, two, three, four. So on your bottom orange concrete, you need to do four spruce. One, two, three, four. These are your wheels. So we'll grab our birch wood as well. And we'll do two blocks on top of those, two blocks on the bottom, and then two blocks on the side to form our little four by four. We put our trap doors. We come back to the other side. So two blocks, two blocks, two <coughs> blocks. Like so. So now we have pretty much finished the base, the wheels. So what we want to do, there's a little block here that's missing, and you go, what? What am I going to put there? Well, you're going to put an upside down stair in all of those spots. And don't worry, don't worry. We'll finish the rest of it off in a second. Don't get so ahead of yourself. Okay, so now we're going to be building our little uh, little stem or our little like handles. So I use green wool and spruce wood to kind of give it like a wood vine feel. Uh, but you could do anything. You could do quartz, uh, because when you look at carriages, traditionally princess carriages, a lot of them are quartz, or they, they look like they're white. Uh, so what you want to do is three, one, two, three. And then you want to do four sets of two blocks. So one, two, three, four. So like this. So be one up and one across four times. One up, one across, one up, one across, one up, one across. So one, two, three, four sets of twos. On your last set of four, you're going to put one singular block. You are then going to do an upside down stair. You're going to do two spruce slabs, one on the stair, one next to the stair. So you can put another upside down stair. You are then going to put a green wall block followed by upside down stair and then three, one, two, three green blocks down. You're going to put a spruce slab followed by two green wall, an upside down spruce stair, a green wall, a normal side green stair and a green wall. So you're going to repeat this process four times. So we'll do that again so you can see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So four sets of twos, one singular one. Upside down stair, two slabs, one on top of the stair, one next to it. Another upside down stair, a green wall. An upside down stair. One, two, three green walls coming off that upside down stair. A slab, two walls, an upside down stair, one wall, one rearward facing stair, and one green wall. And let's just do that really quick so you guys can see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then we are going to do a single upside slab, slab. Upside down, green, upside down, one, two, three greens, slab, green, green, upside down, slab, uh, sorry, green, stair, green, okay, and then again, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, upside down, stair, slab, slab, upside down, stair, Green, oops, that's not green. Green, upside down. One, 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 two, three, greens. Slab, green, green. Stair, green. Stair. Oh, wait. And then green. Okay, so we have pretty much finished the uh, majority of the carriage now. So the other thing is to kind of just make it look a little bit neater. So coming under this stair that you've put on all of the spots, you want to go one back and then do a row all the way across of upside down stairs. This kind of forms your uh, undercarriage and makes it look uh, complete. So we'll do the same on the other side. So coming back from this upside down stair, we're going to do a whole row of upside down stairs underneath the last placed wall row too. So we're one, we're one back. So like so. We are then going to get our slab, our spruce slab, and finish this in. So we're going to go from the bottom two orange blocks and just go all the way across. 
So again, bottom two orange blocks, but this one has more orange because we're making it. And we're going to finish it off like this. So now, we're finished off. So the inside is a little bit different. So we're going to take, the, as you can see, there's a row here of spruce wood. What we're going to do is continue that row of spruce wood all the way to the other side. Now, what I've done in the middle was to replicate uh, a carriage being open. You could just do a closed one if that's what you were interested in uh, and something that you wouldn't have to worry about. So I'm doing an open design where the staircase is open so it looks like that you can go in there. Uh, but you could do a closed design and then you would just copy the exactly the same pattern on this side on the other side. So we like to look like make it look like that there's like a curtain in there. So what we do is we fill the top row, we fill the sides, we fill the sides, like so. We then do a one up and then fill this and then one down. So it's kind of it's leaving two blocks here. One, two, and then two blocks up here. And this kind of looks like on the other side, if you're looking at it, it's kind of like a drawn curtain. So you can actually see out of the curtain. You could then complete the bottom part as well. If you'd like, you could do um, magenta, magenta, like so, and finish it off down the side to make it look like this. So the inside here, you'll notice that there's a couple of blocks here. If you want to copy the roof, you could do two wool back in the same direction as the roof. You could do an orange concrete there instead. Um, or if you want to just do something fancy, you could put a glowstone in here to add light into your uh, carriage. Uh, I like the glowstone effect because in the middle, I also like to do like a little bit of a chandelier. Um, you know, something like crazy. Just because it's like... It's a pumpkin carriage. You need to have something fancy in there. So you notice that this side isn't open. So what we need to do is finish it. So we're going to copy the inside with the orange terracotta. We're going to do the same. It's the same for both sides. But for this side, we're not going to do the, open, uh, the window. We are going to do three windows up the top. One, two, three. And then windows all the way down the side. Except for that one, which is going to be the, the orange terracotta. It's like, so we're only going to do it like that. Now what we're going to do with our magenta is we're only going to do the magenta on the windows. So it looks like the curtains are open as opposed to being shut like, like that. So it's only going to give you an effect like this. Now what I do on this side, and you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to build a staircase that goes like this. And you have to imagine that when this closes, it goes up to here. And it actually forms the side of the carriage or the door. Uh, and that's the idea that we've gone with this. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So you could do whatever you wanted in here. I've just kind of left it as an open design. It's very cool for having like um, a shop design if you're building on an SP and you want to build like a pumpkin shop or something. So this is initially what the design was. Uh, I've kind of changed out the blocks over here. I put a staircase so you can see out the window on this side. And I have sh I have chests in here that sell pumpkin pies. That's that's the initial reason why I built this, was to build, it has a pumpkin pie shop on, a, on an SMP. Uh, but that's it. That's the whole tutorial. Uh, so I know it's a little bit confusing and a little bit long, so please, please pause the video if you get stuck. Uh, it, it is quite simple once you know, because all the sides are exactly the same. Uh, and then you're following the pattern here and the following the pattern here and then filling it in so it's not too bad all the green things are the same yeah uh, the bottoms are all the same so yeah if you do build this guys i'd love for you to tag me in your your creation of this uh you know on all my social medias or on my discord or where however you'd like to share that with me um if you do something different for the inside in here i'd love to see what you've done instead of instead of the the, the design that i've done uh to make it look like that it's uh, an open carriage with uh with curtains drawn uh, etc but anyways guys that's going to be it for this video of us building a pumpkin carriage for the third time because the second time <laughs> did not work uh so uh anyways that's going to be it i hope you enjoyed pumpkin carriage army which we've got going here i'm just going to keep building pumpkin carriages just build a thousand of them and uh thanks for watching and if you did be sure to hit that follow button uh, follow like button you can follow but i don't think you can follow on youtube like subscribe and uh Check out some of my other tutorials. There's a bunch of them around. And uh, also check out my other social medias. Link in the Discord. I've got my TikToks and stuff on there as well. So, so thank you. 
and uh, for watching, and I'll see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye.